What's up YouTube? Fiercely on here bringing you something new that I'm excited to bring you guys and with, along with me we have special guest Hefe over here and Fierce Ryu. What up? <laughs> We're going to be doing a little bit of a tag lock and I've extreme randomized Pokemon White, one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, from the Pokemon series, and we're just gonna go jump right in. So let's do this. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Quiet down back there. <laughs> That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Can't get any decent help around here. <clears throat> Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? So, as I mentioned, this is going to be a tag lock, which is essentially going to be mostly me and Ryu boy over here, tagging in and out every episode uh, on who's going to be in control. But for those of you who don't know what a Nuzlocke is, um, the rules go as you have to catch your first encounter on each route, and only one per route and like areas and stuff like you know caves uh, towns etc and if you knock out that pokemon on the route then you lose that encounter and you can't get it back uh, second rule is if a pokemon faints during battle it's dead can't use it anymore benito gonzos so you know don't go kill my pokemon <laughs> Hefe. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the final rule which is more about making those deaths more impactful uh, and that's that you have to name every Pokemon that you get as you come to it so you catch a Pokemon on the first round catch your Pidgey you're like hey here's my boy Hefe don't let it die but uh, hopefully we won't be encountering any Pidgeys along the way in this uh, randomizer because we've extremely randomized it. Actually, we can encounter all the Pidgeys because maybe it'll be a fucking ice ground type for all I know. So, who knows? Now wait a minute. When you say that you extremely randomized it all, are you saying that I can literally just run into anything from a Pikachu to a Mewtwo out in the wild for no reason? Yes. And just because you run into a Mewtwo doesn't mean it's going to be a psychic type. Really? Yes. So it could be a fighting, water, fire... Yes. Even a bug type. Yes. Bug type Mewtwo. It's basically our, Basically every Pokemon is Arceus. If you want to look at it that way. Ah, but just random plates. Yes, yes. Random plates on. <clears throat> and random Pokemon can also... So what are all the things that I checked off? I checked off Pokemon can evolve into random ass other Pokemon. They get random typings. They get random level up movesets. With preference to stab. You know, still some randomness, but we don't want, you know, a bunch of useless ass Pokemon that don't know any stab moves. Random TM moves, we've got random stats, we got random abilities. We got it all. So let's just jump right in. We are boys, right? Boys. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like to know your name please tell me uh, since I'm in the first driver slot we are going to go with me, Leon first in command second to no one your name is Leon? yes, yes it is so your name is Leon, what a wonderful name well then, I'm going to introduce you to, our two, to your two best friends like how she's going to introduce us to our best friends? That's that's fine. It's whatever. This young man is Cherry. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. 
Right down back there, peanut gallery. This young woman is Bianca. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Leon! The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Also, you know what I forgot to do? What's that? Activate speed up button. Let me just do that real quick. Emulation settings. Nope. Wrong. So do you think Sharon should have like a nerdy accent? Uh, he can have whatever accent you like, oh, buddy. Oh man, I'm trying to think right now. So uh, possibilities of hot keys. Like, should all be extreme, like some kind of Eastern European. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. This button. Booyah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Like Boston accent. Yeah. Skip this little bit a bit. Mm -hmm. You don't want to skip any dialogue, but. I like how she like walks in immediately walks out and she like oh crap the wrong house. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Leon, I heard from Professor Jupiter we we can have a Pokemon. Make sure it's going to be a voice that's not going to destroy your throat in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. Let's keep him Bianca. Oh, am I a little late again? So sorry. <laughs> Bianca? I know for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day that we can get Pokemon from Professor Jupiter. Juniper. <clears throat> Fine. I know. Sorry, Leon. Sorry, Sharon. <laughs> It's Sharon, you buffoon. <laughs> uh, so where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Leon's house, so Leon gets first pick. Damn right. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Leon, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Would you set? Would you get a move on it and open the gift box already? What's in the box? <laughs> I'm sure the Pokemon are just as excited to meet us. Ooh, what kind of Pokemon can they be? All right, let's see what our starter Pokemon are. So, j just a heads up, I'm like old school Pokemon Yellow Red Bet with a little bit of Soul Silver and Pearl. I've never played this game before. The simple fact that your Pokemon can be selected in your bedroom is so gosh darn catering. <laughs> it, it, it's not even funny. Like, you had to go to Professor Oak, man. Now it's at your door. Privilege. It's nice, it's nice stuff. Nice stuff. It is. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Jennifer. All right, let's see this shit. Let's go! Wonder what's in the Wonder Ball. A fighting type Pokemon Voltorb. Okay, okay. The poison type Pokemon Perloin. It looks like it could be poison. And the bug type Pokemon Weeping Bell. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Hmm. Yeah, it's all I mean, this one. So the poison type has its has the best advantage against the other two typings because neither of them resist it in the long run. But we start with a Weeping Bell, which has better base stats all around in general. Bug is often considered an inferior typing. A fighting type would be cool, but I think we're gonna start with the Weeping Bell. Yeah. What do you guys think? Hmm. Well, as much as I love the fact that a sphere can be a fighting type without limbs, <laughs> I think we all have to go with... Uh, do you see that mighty eyebrow? You don't want to know what that thing can do. 
wonder if he can do a eyebrow contest with my guy. <laughs> Probably. I want to see Voltorb pop out of the Pokeball and then open its mouth and another Voltorb pop out of it and then... Oh, then yeah, like, a, yeah, like a Russian doll situation. Yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Neon chose the Weeping Bell. Goddamn right we did. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll take this Pokemon. <laughs> Sharon, that one's yours. That was selfish of me. <laughs> hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted this one from the start anyway. <laughs> Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so... That's that. <laughs> hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca... Even though they're all still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry wart. <laughs> These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they get stronger. It's settled, Leon. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Are you ready to get the fisting of a lifetime? Also, I did not realize that that mouse was on there. I'm a little triggered. We'll fix it in editing. <clears throat> You thought nothing. Cool trainer Florentino. Not your name, by the way. I, just, I guess we can call you Florentino? Yeah, I got both of them. Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to the fighting of the fight in the center of Leon's room. Now, let's do this. Welcome. We've been Bell, you steamroller. <laughs> oh, not very effective. Oh, shit. Don't poison him. Don't poison, poison, don't poison. <laughs> awesome. What will Weeping Bell do? I just want to look at our Weeping Bell real quick. Hang on. See, summary. We got bad dreams. That's insane. That's fucking uh, Darkrai. Darkrai's special ability. We that, just have it. That's OP. Okay. It's pretty OP. We also have we need sleep 12 attack, 16 physical defense, 8 special attack, 9 special defense, and 14 speed. Steamroller 65, retaliate 70, silver wind sucking badass. Alright, let me fuck out of here. Are you in battle? Yeah! Go back, go back. We're gonna steamroll it up. Bless you. Not very effective, even though two moves got you in the yellow. <laughs> oh wow. That was actually actual damage though. <laughs> that would be awesome, that would be awesome. <laughs> no, 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 no. Your stat changes were removed. Do a barrel roll. Or just kill it. Nothing says like true Pokemon love, like having your pets fight to the till one of them are unconscious. <laughs> Remember kids, Fierce Leon does not condone pet or animal violence. Wow <laughs> Leon, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell you. No doubt. Uh Bianca, would you take a look around? Oh, come on. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh. Uh, sorry about your room, Leon. <laughs> you don't think it'd be the way that it is? You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Namekian and Dinde powers. Leon's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Yeah, it's, it's healing. You know, so that he doesn't completely steamroll us in two seconds. That's you. Uh, oh, hey, Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into... A disaster area like I did. 
I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones that have all the fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what we can do, my Pokemon. Bring it, punk. My name is Mike. <laughs> my name is Mike. <laughs> you are cool trainer Mike. That's interesting. Damn right I'm cool. I'm gonna beat you up and take your money. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait until I beat you up with just using a spear. <laughs> Get steamrolled. Oh, you think you're fast, do you? Use triple kick! <laughs> with, with the mighty eyebrow. <laughs> My mighty eyebrow. I finally become a trainer. Everything comes together. I think we should have this one. Ooh, you're missing, you're missing attacks. You're weak, you're weak, son. Go back to the training facilities. Who would have thought that a spear, a perfectly cylinder spear with eyebrows, could not fight? <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Yeah, give me that juicy experience. I'll be taking that, thank you. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. That was a Pokemon battle? That was a Pokemon battle. I got my ass stomped, that was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. You're welcome. I made a that. strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about the messed up room. <laughs> oh, I better come too. Since <laughs> this was mostly your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Alright. Also, uh, I like how we have a Wii. Yeah. Nice and Wii. Not a scratch. <laughs> yeah. Very the one. <laughs> I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, uh, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. I like the twang you got. She got a really deep voice and a <laughs> Midwest accent. <laughs> my, my, Leon. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, we know, Mom. Gosh. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your Cross Transceiver. The Cross Transceiver. I have obtained it. You're going to thank the Professor too, right? Better get going, honey. All right, I'm out. Fucking out! Give me my running shoes! Running shoes not being in the game is a fucking crime. Because we all know the simple laws of physics. If your shoes aren't running shoes, you cannot physically run. Yeah, in fact. No, no, a thousand times no. Uh, but I'm. I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. Uh, I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Now Could normally, now normally I would, you know, go out of my way to like talk to everybody and act like I care, yada yada yada. But we've played this game before. Well, I got there so much quicker than you. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Most of us have played this game before. And we don't need to see all that. We're here for the encounters and the craziness that's in store. The Carter Baron. <clears throat> Hi there. I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... 
Professor Juniper, we know your name. Professor... Oh. <clears throat> come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes. I just want to point out, how did that... Is she a witch? How did she know that they had a battle? Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Also, why would making someone fight make them trust you? Kyle. Kyle. So for those of you who may be coming on over here to watch this uh, Nuzlocke, because you've been at my streams, you've probably watched me play the Sword and Shield Wonderlock. Well, for all of you who might know, there's also a Kyle that was very near and dear to so many of our viewers' hearts. And why not just, you know, lead it off strong, make our, our starter Pokemon a returning character in Kyle. <laughs> it was a Dreepy before. And now it is a weeping bell. It is a bug type. Uh huh. I see. Are you okay with the nickname Kyle? What'd you say? That's, that's a downgrade. Yeah, that is kind of a downgrade. <laughs> it took three iterations of Kyle to get him to be a dragon hulk, so he died multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Well, we kept getting him in the Wonder Trade, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. We'll just keep making it because like at least Dreepy's a cool Pokemon. You know. Kyle is its name. That is such a great name. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it, it, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? <laughs> I am astonished. Nice work, Chan. <laughs> you have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokémon in the Unova region. Yeah, in case you guys aren't aware, this is a Nuzlocke and we're never going to complete your stupid little Pokédex quest. I'm sorry, we don't have that many encounters. This is my request. Leon, Charon, Bianca! You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokédex, will you not? <laughs> yeah, <No>. sure. <laughs> Just lie to her? Yeah, I, I did. Oh, this is you, by the way. I mean, uh, yeah, Professor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thank you. I have given you have given me the best possible answer. Yeah, hurry up. Pokedex! This this episode's already running. A little longer than I wanted it to, but I at least want to get to the first encounter. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Yeah, we're skipping the fuck out of this. Out of so, since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Yep, we're out, skis. We're the three best friends that anybody could have. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wait on, wait up! <laughs> oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! Rich. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Yep, 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 Town yep, map. yep, 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 I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Oh, thank you so much. As for your room, Leon, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying. Okay? Ah, Pokemon, they are so cute. But they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. 
I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. All right, Mom, get wow. out of here. If we use the, if I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. <laughs> That's certainly helpful. Shall we go to Route One? The professor's waiting. Let's go. Let's go, Leon. Uh, hurry up and come too, okay? Let's go, son. <laughs> we just waited on. Leon, it's this way. Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Leon, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Huh, you just said what he said. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting for like the third time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of waiting that happens. It's like the military. Hurry up and wait. Me too. Professor Jupiter, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. Blah, blah, blah. This is the part where she explains to us how to catch Pokemon. We are skipping the there. Do we know how to catch Pokemon? I fucking hope so. If you don't know how to catch Pokemon, then we're gonna have trouble beating this. We'll do a quick montage educational purpose. Let's go now. You attack the Pokemon. Don't make it dead. Just try to get its HP down to red. You grab a Pokeball from your bag, and you better watch out for that video game lag. <laughs> Damn. Did, did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, the official rules of the Nuzlocke are now implemented. So, from now on, if we die, if we suck and kill something it's dead we're dead if we white out we lose we don't want to lose before we even have a chance to put this on youtube so let's play cautiously and smart for at least two episodes hey, you should <laughs> definitely have him play next thing <laughs> nah. yes yes they are used to catch pokemon blah 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 <clears throat> She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Cumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward <laughs> to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Yes, yes. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, listen, uh, Leon, Sharon, I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Uh, would you just listen a second? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, why don't we go see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh, actually, that's pretty awesome. We got skipped because Pokemon <laughs> mages, so I will be following. Okay, until the Accumulant Town will take on the healing of your Pokemon. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, we, we in Oshawa will do the best for sure. She doesn't have an Oshawa, but that's okay. Alright, let's fucking go. Alright. Oh, snap. Instead of traveling together safely through the dark, we're just going to go off individually. Yeah. Is your Pokemon's HP alright? When your Pokemon's HP decreases while you're on the road, it can be a big problem. So you do this. Put it in your box, or your bag's medicine case. Boom. Potion. Nice and potion. When your Pokemon's HP decreases, they no longer have the energy to fight. They also die. So, stop talking to me. I don't want to talk to you. Come Why on, would you accept you random too. medicine on, from people when it's all grass outside of your town just standing there? <laughs> Usually have to pay for that. Oh no. What are we encountering? Whoo, a Spearow. Right. A Spearow. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> I wonder what he's got. What will Kyle do? Uh, steamroll, duh. I steamroll everything. If you look like you want to fight, I steamroll. Ooh. I use an electric one. It's an electric type Spiro? Might be. Ooh. Might be. Steamroller. <laughs> Two more of those. Not really steamrolling it though. It is not. But we we <laughs> want to catch it, so you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep steamrolling, rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> flinch, flinch, flinch. Ooh, icy one. 
things. Everything he do does make me slow as dick. Alright, I'm just gonna try to catch it because I don't want to accidentally crit it on my next attack. Go, Hergerberg. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, yeah. Hey! How amazing would the series be? Yeah. And it just beat you and we lost right there. <laughs> oh man, uh, I would have had to restart. <laughs> you can't just put up a 20 minute video that's like, oh yeah, by the way, this is, uh, this is it. It's an electric steel Spiro. Oh wow. With icy wind and electro wind. Give it a nickname. All right. Uh, Thunderbolt? Uh, what are we going to name this thing? Uh, you can name this thing Maverick. Yeah, this is like a totally dope ass badass bird. I guess That's I don't. True. We have no idea what this is gonna turn into though. Oh yeah, they evolve randomly too. I, we forgot that was part of the rules as well. Oh, I, I mentioned it. Did we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, it's gonna evolve. It's gonna evolve into a, a wiggly tough. That would actually be awesome. Wiggly well, we were able to it. manage to get our first encounter, but sadly. It's been over 30 minutes, so we're going to have to save, and we're going to have to end there for today. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and I hope you guys will tune in next time. Until then, peace. See ya.